Artifacts Mars. And this story you need to see, especially if you're religious. Now, I only have the vaguest of ideas of what this Ash Wednesday business is about. However, this year is going to be a little bit different. See, some of these churches are distributing glitter ashes. I guess it's ashes from burning palms distributed on Palm Sunday the year before. And they've been marked mixed with glitter in solidarity with LGBT. Now, why is Artifacts talking about this when Artifacts is an agnostic? Well, I'm going to get into this in a minute. You see, this is not religion we're talking about in this case. This is politics. Well, it goes deeper than politics, which, uh, which is what I'll show you. Website for Glitter Ashes describes glitter as a sign of hope and signals our promise to repent, show up to witness the work. Says the President, that's BS. That is bullshit. That is bullshit. Says the President, the Glitter Ashes will breathe fresh life into literature. That's not what the uh, goal here is. This is, of course, isn't the point of Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday is not about person or individual. It's not about making statements or showing support or any of that. It's a day of confronting one's own mortality, being reminded to repent, and prepare oneself for Lent and the Easter. There's hardly a more humbling phrase than remember that you are dust, and to dust thou you shall return. We are all dust, regardless of our sexual orientations. The Ash Cross is not supposed to be a billboard for virtue signaling. There's no requirement even to keep them on one's forehead, forehead after receiving. And in Europe, ashes are merely sprinkled over someone, not applied to the forehead. The Glitter Ash movement is an attempt to hijack a religious observance and twist it for one's own causes. That's not appropriate. Uh, amen to that. Ash Wednesday is a beautiful observance when treated properly and done with respect, reverence for what's being commemorated. You're not off the hook either. Ashes go to, to stations. This is none of that. As Christians, we should be treating all LGBT people with respect for their human dignity, dignity, but that does not mean we should be changing millennia, millennia old tradition either. Now, I'm going to break this down for you. I'm uh, still having some problems with my voice. Still a bit of frog in my throat. I'll uh, have problems for days. I had some kind of creeping crud. Now, here's what's going on. Here's what you're not being told by this site or any other site. This is from townhall.com. You see, the people, these people in these churches who are doing this are called, are by and large, they are cultural Marxists. I said cultural Marxists. And what they've done, what they're in, doing is they're in the churches to subvert them to destroy traditional Christian morality. And it says one man for one woman till death do they part and all that. So they're there. These are cultural Marxists that are there to do away with that. They're in 
trying to infiltrate and tear down the churches. Same way they've done with the schools. Now, let's take a look at... Here's another article. New York-based advocacy group called Parody is asking Christians to favor LGBT equality. Queer, positive Christians and their parlance show their support for wearing glitter ash on their foreheads. Mark Ash, Wednesday, March 1st. Now, again, I uh, know nothing about Ash Wednesday, really, so I've heard of it. I've seen the ashes on people's foreheads, but we'll take a look at parody, and then we'll go over uh, what I mean by cultural Marxists. Now, this looks like a religious site, right? They're not. Trust me. These are atheists. And the reason they are is they're cultural Marxists. They hate Christianity with passion. Now, here we have the communist play, playbook, and there's all sorts of different stuff. This is on rents. But I'm only going to uh, go from 25 to 27. They're the uh, applicable lines here. These are communist goals. Break down cultural standards of morality by promoting pornography and obscenity in books, magazines, motion pictures, radio, and TV. Number 26. Present homosexuality, degeneracy, and promiscuity as normal, natural, and healthy. Number 27. Infiltrate the churches and replace revealed religion with social religion. Discredit the Bible and emphasize the need for intellectual maturity, which does not need a religious crutch. Uh, we can go on for one or two more. Number 28, eliminate prayer or any phrase of religious expression in the schools on the ground that it violates principles of ch separation of church and state. You know, does this sound familiar? It should. This is what's been happening. So, basically, what you have here is your churches are being, most of these people are calling for this glitter ass stuff and support for the LGBT and all that. Most of these people are hardcore cultural Marxists. They are enemies of your church. Now, I don't know how anyone can sit there and tell me, well, we got this uh, shiny horned, foul smelling devil and he's our real enemy we're not fighting against humans well excuse me you have enemies right there in your churches and you need to wake up to this fact I'm going to say that again you have enemies right there in your churches and you need to, you need to wake up to this and they're called cultural Marxists. They are atheists by definition. All communists are atheists. And there's probably a few people, you know, a few who are just liberals who support LGBT and all that. The standard Christian model for morality is one man for one woman, and they marry, and they have children, and so on and so forth. And if one spouse dies, then the other one can remarry if they want. These, pe these despicable individuals, these cultural Marxists, are infiltrating your churches. They're doing stupid things like this and trying to make you think that this is a normal thing. It's not. 
It goes against standard church teachings. Now, I'm an agnostic, so don't get me uh, wrong, but I don't want any real part of this other than to inform you churches, church-going people, what's going on. you got to wake up. This is enemy within. Never mind some uh, supposed shiny horns, foul-smelling demon you can't even see. That doesn't matter. What matters here is what these scum are doing. They're trying to subvert your churches. I told you before, I'm going to say it again. You Christians don't want to hear this, but put down the playboys, drop your cocks, and grab your socks, because you got big-time trouble. I'm showing you the communist uh, agenda here. This is well known. And it's exactly what they've been doing. So I'm going to say this one more time. You Christians, drop your cocks and grab your socks. And let's start expelling uh, these cultural Marxists from your churches. The ones that are infiltrating you. I believe it's called excommunication. This can be done. We need your help. I'm Mark Facts of Mars. Thanks for watching.